In this video, I'm going to be showing you all the image creation tools that are currently available in iOS with Apple Intelligence. Some of you guys may have seen the pretty popular Apple commercials that are going on featuring Genmoji, so today we're going to be checking out that and a few other features that are available. Alright, the first thing we're going to be checking out is the Genmoji feature. So this is kind of an extension of the Image Playground feature, but all you need to do to activate it is we're going to click the Emoji button down here, and then you're going to see your typical Emoji stack here. Nothing's really changed here. There's been a few more additions in iOS 18, but what you're going to see in the corner here is this very small Genmoji button. I don't know why they made it so small, but you can see it's doing a little glowing thing right now, and if you push it, there you go. So this opens up the new Genmoji feature. You can see new Genmoji, and it's in beta, and you can see here it just says start with a few words or phrase that best describe your idea. I know something that a lot of people have been wanting is a pink heart, so we can just click pink heart, and we click done. We wait for it, and there you go. And we can see that it actually will generate a bunch of different options. So we have that original looking one, we have this one, we have one with a bow tie on it, as well as the swirly one. It will continually create more and more for you to choose one. Let's say a computer, and you can see it creates a few different things. And you can obviously expand on that. So you could have a computer with a smiling face. And if we click done, and we can see, boom, you can see that it actually adds a smiling face to this computer. You could have an emoji one that's yellow, a normal one like that, and there's just so many options to choose from. And the one you like, you just click add, and boom, it adds it right here to send in your message, but it also adds it to your emoji, so you can actually use this in the future if you want to refer back to it. You can also put people's names in there who are in your photos, and it will actually generate an emoji that looks like them. The next app we're going to be looking at is Image Playground. Now, this is basically the main image creation feature that's available with Apple Intelligence. We can click on it right here, and you can see it looks pretty similar to the UI for Gemmoji, and it just says describe an image or add a suggestion from the list. So you can see from that, there are a lot of built-in presets on the bottom, such as winter holidays, mountains, a beanie, summer, so there's a lot of different built-in ones if you want to get your idea started. You can also see you have the ability to choose a person if you want to make a almost a profile picture for them. You can change the style of animation between kind of a realistic animation look or an illustration like a drawing. And you can also click this photos button and you can have a base photo for it to design its image off of. So we can click in here and we can type something out. We can city on Mars. And if we click done, and we could add something like Starry Night to it. And you can add unlimited prompts if you want it to be a bigger city or you wanted it to be in the daytime. You can add as many prompts around this as you want. You can add more filters. You can do it and it will continue to refine that model. And you can see these are the ones that generated. Pretty cool looking. Let's say we wanted to have skyscrapers. It will add that into the mix when it's generating its image. And boom, there you go. You can see these are skyscrapers on Mars. So it's a pretty cool look and you there's just so much that you can do with it. And it's going to get even better over time. And it will save that into Image Playground app and we can send it. We can go back and edit it and do as much as we want with it. So it's another cool image generation feature. The next thing we're going to look at is in the notes app and this is the magic wand feature that I've actually used as a student as it allows me to create little mini sketches. So if we open up the sketch tool in here and let's say I drew something like a house. Alright, so I drew out a house. I can even color it if I want to. I'm not an artist. But if we go over here, you see this little wand tool right here and all we have to do is we just circle it like this. You can see it brings up the tool, give it a minute, and boom. So we actually do have to just do a little bit of describing for it to start the generation, but all we gotta do is I can type house. And now I'll know it's a house and look at my drawing and if I click done, it adds the drawing to the mix, it adds the house text, and it will generate an image for you to add to your notes out of that. So you can see it did that and it generated a design that looks pretty similar to the shape of the house that I did. And it will also, just as you know, it'll create unlimited sketches out of the house look. So I think that's the one that I like the best. It kind of is a front view that I was kind of looking for. If I click done, there you go. And it adds it to your notes and it's actually a really hyper realistic sketch that you can use in your notes at any time. You can resize it as much as you want. You can move it around. And you can obviously go back in and make any modifications that you want to it. Click done. 
have the absolutely terrible sketch I just did, but I type palm tree and there you go. It creates something pretty similar to the look that I had with the leaves coming out at all angles and it's a pretty cool little feature. All right, the last feature we're gonna be looking at is not really an image creation tool, but it modifies images. So if we go up here into the edit in the photos app, this is designed for the photos app. You go into edit, you wait for it to load because this was a photo taken on my iPhone. And you can see we have this new cleanup feature. Cleanup's gonna look at the image and see if there's anything noticeable and obvious that it, I probably want to remove. And you can see without me even highlighting it, it detected those two people and thought, I probably want to remove them from that image. So I can literally just tap on them. See this person highlighted here, I can click and boom, it removes it. You can go over to this person here, and click it again, and it removes it. And you can see their fishing rod remains, so I can literally just go down with my finger like this, it creates this pretty cool animation. Let go, boom, and it removes it. So you can see this is a pretty awesome feature. I know it's pretty similar to features in Photoshop, but it's really nice to have it built into the Apple Photos app and make use of the generative Apple intelligence features. And it seems to work pretty well. It works right on your phone, no Wi-Fi, and works pretty good. So I've been using it a lot. It's just a quick cleanup of photos. And yeah guys, that is everything that's currently available with Apple Intelligence in 2025 in terms of image creation tools. I think it's pretty cool at this time. Uh, I think my favorite feature definitely is the cleanup. It's just super convenient to have it open in the Photos app at any time. Uh, but let me know if you guys have any things that you use. And yeah guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.